Hi, I'm Eric Hansen and I'm Director of Product Management here at Single Store. And today I'm going to show you a demo of how we do image matching in SQL uh, in Single Store. Before I get to that demo, first let me tell you quickly what Single Store is. Single Store is a distributed SQL database management system and it supports both transactional and analytical workloads on the same system at the same time. We are multi-model, that is we support relational, JSON, full text, time series, and spatial. And also um, the system is really fast because we use scale out or shared nothing architecture. We compile queries to Intel machine code, uh, unlike other systems who interpret their queries which gives us up to like a factor of 10 performance improvement. And we have a, a good plan cache, which allows us to compile plans and then retrieve the compiled plans and run them quickly when the query comes in that we've seen before. And we also support columnar and vectorized query execution for speed. And we use uh, SIMD instructions, including AVX2 SIMD instructions on Intel chips. So on the right, uh, we've got a picture of our architecture. The data is horizontally partitioned across the leaf nodes on the bottom. And a client application, if it wants to run a command, sends it to the aggregator who compiles it or looks it up in the plan cache and then runs it by farming out the pieces to the leaf nodes as required. Now, how is image matching done uh, these days and how do we do it in single store? So, a very popular technique that's evolved over the last 15 years or so in the AI community is to do scoring uh, for image matching and other kinds of matching using what's called vector embeddings. So the idea is that suppose you want to um, do image matching, the, you're, you'll create a training data set with some images in a normalized form like a square matrix of pixels like you see this square array here and um, you'll train a deep neural network and then you can then take new images and feed them into the neural network and out of one of the middle or hidden layers in the neural network you can read a vector which is much smaller in size than the original um, matrix of pixels that's a much lower dimensional object um, but it retains a lot of information about the original object um, it's kind of like a thumbnail sketch of the original image. So an example might be you've got um, 256 by 256 matrices uh, representing images. And uh, once you pass them through the neural network, you'll get a 128 28 element vector that is sort of represents the meaning of the original image. And applications of this are things like face matching, product photo matching, similarity of documents, and on and on. There are many different applications to this. And uh, those of you who have some AI background that understand this idea of uh, vector embeddings, uh, you may think of neat new ideas about how to apply that in single store. Once you've got vector embeddings that represent the objects you're trying to match, uh, then the question arises, how do you compare two vectors to see how alike they are? So in single store, you can do vector similarity matching with a built-in function we provided called dot product. And this allows you to do a cosine similarity metric between two vectors. So if your vectors are normalized to length one, then if you do the dot product between them, you'll get the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. So if you look on the right here, there's uh, a couple of vectors here that are a lot alike because they're pointing in the same direction. So the angle between them is very small and therefore the cosine of that angle will be close to one. So you get a high matching score when you use the dot product function. And uh, a little different here is the uh, these two vectors which are almost orthogonal to each other and the similarity score between them will be low because they're the cosine of the angle between them is going to be closer to zero than one because they're not pointing in the same direction. 
And we implement this dot product function really fast using Intel SIMD instructions. And SIMD is a processor technology that allows you to operate on wide registers where you can pack, say, eight floating point numbers into a single register and do a register to register multiply that can multiply eight pairs of numbers together in a single instruction. So that can be super fast, up to eight times faster than doing it with regular instructions. So in this demo, I have loaded a table called people with records that contain file names uh, and vectors that represent the picture uh, stored in the file. There's 16,784,000 and some odd uh, records in this table. The schema of the table looks like this. Again, it's got an ID number, the file name, and the vector, which is a blob. This is going to be a 128 element vector that's single precision floating point. So the query vector is going to be at sign V. It's going to represent uh, Emma Thompson number one. That's one of the pictures in the table. So uh, now I want to see the closest matches to that particular uh, photo. And I've got a query here which gets the top five closest matches based on a cosine similarity metric. So, wow, first of all, did you see how quick that was? It was instantaneous. Um, if we look at the profile plan, it took five milliseconds to ex execute that particular query that scanned and processed 16 million and, and some odd uh, vectors on 16 vCPUs. So, that, that's billions of vector matches per second on a, a reasonably small machine. And let's look at the output. So um, again, the top match is Emma Thompson 1. Which, so the vector matched itself perfectly, which is what you'd expect. But the next closest match is Emma Thompson 2. And so let's actually look at those pictures to see what they're like. So this is the query image on the left, Emma Thompson 1, and Emma Thompson 2 here is the closest match on the right. Uh, the score was 0 0.613. So a pretty high score for you know showing that the the vectors for these two are are pretty close together. So think about what kind of applications you could build with this, whether you're doing face matching or ob or, or matching of of various types of objects like everyday objects or products or um, even something like matching uh, vector embeddings for documents could be something entirely different than than images there are a lot of different opportunities here and if you if you come up with anything good uh, please message us on our forums and let you know what you did thank you